What's up guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's your guy Igor here. Today's video is, is Canada unsafe? Or if it is safe, how safe it is? Most of you are used to say that Canada is the safest country. And you know what? I want to show you something really beautiful right behind me. Look at that ladybug. It's beautiful. And to be honest with you, I just had to find this place that looks so creepy. In reality, Canada is not like that. Let me grab my stuff. I don't want to leave my stuff behind because you know what? <sighs> Things like this, unattended in Canada, including my tripod, they can grow legs and walk away. Because regardless how safe the country is, you think it might be. Your stuff can go missing. Even this small tabloids for real estate agents are kind of chained, so they're not going to be stolen so easily. And there is an ambulance too. All right. <laughs> I'm actually located right next to my house. And in this video, I want to tell you, is Canada a safe country? Or if it's not, how unsafe it is? Let me get a better grip on this camera. In general, Canada is a really safe country, even though I'm walking next to these creepy places and with graffiti and other stuff, this place is actually safe. Where I am located right now is basically behind my place where I live. In reality, it's just the back door where people just drive. It's a just driveway to your home. And I'm going to tell, take you right now to one of the most unsafe places in Calgary, just to show how unsafe it is there. Let me start by saying that I'm currently, there is already something going on there. Did you hear that? I don't know if the microphone picked that up. There was some <laughs> car stopping all of a sudden and almost hitting another car somewhere there. I could hear that. And this is the place. I'm at one of the most unsafe places in Calgary right now. And let me tell you this. When I first came to Canada, I was in Scarborough. And apparently Scarborough is considered to be unsafe. And what's going on there? It's kind of weird place people making weird noises you always have to watch your back but in reality when i first okay when i first came to canada i stayed with my landlord and i was in i was in scarborough ontario and it was funny actually because when i first came from ukraine to that place it looked so good but in reality she was like Igor make sure you don't go to that neighborhood like you stay in this neighborhood but do not go across that road to that neighborhood I was like why the hell why why she's like just don't go there it's it's really bad I was like I don't know because just because she said don't go there that's exactly why I went to that neighborhood and I didn't find anything strange in there you know I'm what let me tell you this this place where I am located, I'm going to show you right now. This is, guess what? It's Marlboro Mall, all right? So this place, it creeps out so many local people who live in Calgary. They're like, I don't shop in Marlboro. I don't go to this place. It's unsafe. You know why? Let me show you, because there is a Walmart there. And there's lots of crazy stuff going on next to that Walmart all the time. There's always some kind of shooting, stabbing. Like, something stupid uh, is happening in this area all the time. I don't know why. But in reality, lots of people don't come shopping here. I do come shop here and I don't see anything unsafe in this area. But let me tell you that lots of people who I work with from my previous workplaces where I used to work and I'm sure if I ask someone at my current workplace they would probably say yeah I don't shop at Marlboro for one reason it's it's not a good neighborhood it's not a good place because there's some crazy stuff happening but for me as a person who is coming from a country it's it, it, I don't think Ukraine is the third world country it's more like a second or something I don't know how you count that but let me tell you this I've seen worse people in my country. I've seen way more crime. And I, I want to tell you that Canada is one of the safest countries, I would say, anyways. And whatever is considered to be unsafe in Canada is probably mildly safe 
in Ukraine and other countries because I don't know probably I'm used to deal with way higher and more difficult people in Ukraine than I would ever be in Canada that neighborhood in Scarborough where she was that my landlord was telling me not to go she told me Igor you go there they'll rob you they'll stab you and they might even rape you I was like who's going to rape me I'm a guy she's like no they rape everyone you just go there and that's what happens I was like it was ridiculous so what I want to tell you in this video is of course all of this perception is ridiculous. Canada is one of the freaking safest countries and I don't care standing here in this place with an expensive camera. Just decided to check my bag just in case. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it is perfectly safe country. I'm just going to go there, buy something and tell you more. You know, at the beginning I was like, holy moly, this country is unsafe. Maybe the landlord, maybe the lady is telling me the truth. Maybe she is not. I don't know, I'm new to this country. And she tells me, you can go to that neighborhood and you're definitely going to get robbed. Guess what? I went to that neighborhood to receive my money from Western Union one day. Because I didn't really figure out which road she told me not to cross. And that road was specifically the road where I was not supposed to be. So the guys at Western Union, they looked at me and they're like, are you on a car? And I'm like, no, I'm on a bicycle. They're saying, are you crazy to come here to receive money for your tuition from Western Union in this neighborhood? I was like, what's wrong with this neighborhood? It's the most beautiful, freaking most beautiful neighborhood I have seen so far. You know, nice, cut grass, everything is clean, people are so polite. Yeah, you could see some strange people here and there, but they were the nicest people ever. Saying thank you, excuse me, and this kind of nice stuff to you. It's like, how come this place is considered to be unsafe? I mean, what is considered to be safe in Canada? What I want to tell you guys is Calgary police here in Canada, they are doing a great job protecting this country. And this country is considered to be one of the world's safest countries. And the title of this video was actually just to get your attention, guys. It is really safe in Canada. Let me get out from police parking lot before they find a way to charge me with something. I'm just kidding, they wouldn't, I'm sure. But let's talk about it in the other place. Canada is top 10, one of the top 10 countries in safety it's one of the safest countries where crime level is very low and you are really safe here if you come here as a tourist you won't have problems going out at night you don't have to worry of being robbed and other stuff it's extremely safe literally everywhere and you'll be comfortable going out even at night even if you're a lady there is no problem here of course there are some bad people here that's why there is a rating system and Canada is in one of the top 10 countries. I looked at the statistics before showing the, shooting this video. I think it's like number 9 out of 160 something countries. So it is really, really safe and you shouldn't worry coming here. But I gotta tell you this, you cannot leave your house open. Some people are saying, oh, in Canada you can leave your house open. No, somebody is going to break into your house if you do that. I left my car open, I think, a couple of times, nothing happened, but there are car thefts. People are stealing cars, they are stealing valuable stuff from the car. If you leave your phone, for example, I know one friend of mine from Centennial College who left a cell phone, his cell phone, on a train, in a train. Basically, it was TTC in Toronto and he left on a train station his cell phone. He went there after one hour and he picked it up and no one took it. He was surprised and I, in fact, was also surprised because I know another guy, I'm not going to say his name because it's, it's inappropriate, he got robbed in a TTC while he was in the washroom. Some guy just came and pulled out his cell phone and stole his headphones just snatched it out of his pocket and took off running of course he filed a police report and everything but police never found the guy i'm saying that there are bad people here and you can still get robbed there is still bad stuff going on especially in the area where i'm shooting the video i'm just across the road where is the marlboro mall it's somewhere there marlboro mall that place always attracts all kinds of bad people i would say but i still find it safe to shop there and in reality, one more thing you have to know, there is not too much of 
criminal activities in Canada, but at the same time, you cannot leave your bicycle unattended. You always have to walk your cycle with the chain, because the cycle is what actually the, the highest theft rate is for cycles. Some people are still in cars, but police are doing great job to protect this country, and it is actually extremely safe country. Because whatever I am saying about theft and other stuff, it's really, really low. And in general, I have never encountered any I know, you know, even abusive people. People are very polite in Canada. No one, and really honest. Like, you know, I have not seen so many nice people in one place, like ever. Like, you know what, someone would come to you and they would say, you know, those, that person is doing something that is wrong. That person shouldn't be doing that. And they're going to call police. They see something suspicious, they call police. And that's how, you know, everyone in Canada gets involved. It's not just the police, but it's the people. And this is how this country is so safe. In fact, I'm here just right now to go to that Canadian Tire over there. I don't know if you can see it, probably not because of the sun. But I'm just there to Canadian Tire to get myself some parts for my bicycle because it's summer, it's time to cycle. There will be some more videos coming from cycling. And I want to tell you in general, guys, don't get spooked out by the places where I was taking this video. It was just to kind of creep you out a little bit. No, Canada is one of the freaking safest countries and you shouldn't worry about it. And by the way, if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe to this channel because I'm sure you want to see more of this kind of stuff. And we'll see you in next video. I wish you all the best and looking forward to seeing you in Canada. Have a good one, guys. No, 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 I'm not leaving my camera behind because even though it's safe, I like my stuff and if you leave it behind, it might disappear really fast, even in the world's safest country. Have a good one, guys.